Hello and welcome back. So Archimir invited us uh, for a little bit of get together. However, I don't know if we want to go there right away. I'm thinking maybe we're gonna pop in uh, the Gulat, uh, speak to Dereo, then check out the old city and use our uh, thingies that we found. Actually, wait, can we go in there? I know it says log, but uh, can we break in? Obviously, we wanna. Uh, I don't know. Wait, what? I don't think we can interact with that guy. I think I've tried it already. Can we go in there? Oh, what? Fifteen lock picking? Holy! I, and I thought I had enough lock picking. Fifteen. That's insane. I don't think he spent a single point on anything else but lock picking. Pretty sure that is the case. Maybe he picked up some athletics. Hmm. But like, I I can. Okay, obviously that was a mistake. Wow. I uh, didn't expect it to be. Anyway, we're going to the Gulat. Daryl's lair. That seems uh, fairly appropriate. Let's do that. Alright, here we go. Also, maybe we can do something else with the Principi. And we were also told to get a job from the Valian Trading Company, so... Uh, maybe it's... Uh, gonna work out. <clears throat> anyway... Hey, Daryl Deline. What do you require? Actually, farewell. <laughs> what do you require? So about the quarter that waves? A most agreeable topic. Or so I hope. He draws his hands together and regards you over long, tented fingers. A Terra attack me after I left the Kanos? Yet you are still standing here, no? Smile a sly smile gleams behind his lips. The ever's criminal row. What? Minor positive? It is only a shame I did not hire you in the first place. So you hired someone to kill me? I found a mosaic in a temple of Ondra Deep in the old city. Galarde, you watchers truly are workers of miracles. He claps, and the figure waiting by the door scurries into the narrows. Uh, this concludes our business then. He clears his throat and produces a blunderbuss. After a brief pause, he rolls around and holds it out to you. Never let it be said that Dario does not pay a fair price. Isn't it garbage? This job get, got complicated. That raises my price. He gives you a respectful, if strained smile and nods to one of his attendants who produces a bag of coin. Uh, Maya smirks and folds her arms. Now, allow us to put the question of money to rest. It is an unseemly topic to linger. I know. What Let's discuss require? something else. About your oh, death. I order complanca. Take it and indulge my vanity. He hands you a lovingly crafted flag. It is not as grand as the sails I once made, but my fingers are ever restless. Well, we're killing you anyway. I feel like that is the right choice. Oh, we have Maya leveling up. Should I put one point in mechanics? That is gonna increase Seraphim's mechanics? I don't know, maybe. What else I'm gonna put points into?
So we're gonna help out the main character. Give her a bunch of bonuses, the skills. Bluff. Yeah. Oh, look at that, so salty. So you get one... The assess works uh, a particular way. You get uh, one point for one, two point for two. Uh, three points for four, se uh, four points for seven, and uh, five points for eleven, and six points for sixteen. So that's kind of what I want to set up. Also, preferably, like yeah, we have a lot of survival. What is that? Eighteen points. I clearly went overboard with that one. <laughs> so... I don't know. Just get better at religion, I guess. That's fine for now. Anyway, uh... I don't care about immobilized. Really. Nimble. Yeah, that's pretty much useless. Evasive fire. Now that looks good. Uh, you can escape with that, or but you're not you're not gonna spam it. So if you can get a resistance, five percent of hits converted to crits. That's good. Max health. That's good too. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best here. I don't know. Health does help, but not getting hit. Plus a little bit of uh, crit certainly helps. Anyway, next, and that's all. So, Darrow the Lean. Are we gonna make friends? I mean, by friends, murder him. I just killed the boss. Uh oh. She might need to use the escape skill. Okay, well. What? Did we find something? Right between the eyes. Is this target marked? Because we should be marking targets. Uh oh. She took some damage. Come on, AI. Preferably do not heal the cutthroat. She's gonna die. She actually has scrolls she can use on this occasion. Minor healings. Yeah, we just made some friends with them. Sweet redemption. Oh, healer. I don't. What? Daryl the lean is fine? How so? And he's flying. Right between the eyes. Is everyone dead? Yeah, just a bunch of garbage here. Adventurer's Grimoire. Uh, pretty good, actually. I just take it. My fingers be fat and furry, but they're ever so nimble. Swapped in spot. Stealing? Wow, this guy had nothing. Got it. My fingers be fat and furry. Easy breezy. Still, this was the way to go, I guess. So we need to go downstairs. 
Wait a second, let me out. Go to Delver's Row. And I gotta go to the gullet. Well, we had a bit of a misunderstanding with that guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Tries to kill me. That acts all cool. Are we friendly with these guys? It's the smell of cardamom that drew to tell Dare. Well, they don't hate me. So... <laughs> I guess that's that. Hmm. Street merchant. Looking for something to sharpen it? Yeah, we can check their stuff. They have. And of course, we're heading down. Real Going quiet. down there. No. There is something I can get. Of course. Garari Kuras. Okay, legendary light armor that has a lot, a lot of armor. And incoming hits converted to grazers. That's good too. That's a really good armor for someone who. Likes to live a little dangerously. Base armor rating is 10. So it, it's a 15 power armor. Legendary. Do we have anything to sell that could allow us to buy that fine piece of armor? Wait. So that's 11? How does that work? That's seven. Super breastplate. Oh, I see. So the buffs are not on top of uh, what it says the base armor rating is. But the base armor rating represents that. 5 blaze, plus 4 legendary, plus 1 Garari skin. Uh, that makes this a, a 10 overall. This is a 9 overall. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So I have a 6 here, which is pathetic. 11 here. Another 11. Another 11, another 11, well this 11, to be fair, is uh, only has plus 35 recovery time, plus power pool, yeah that's pretty good. Anyhow, Ernesto, can we just buy your stuff? There is something I can get for you, of course. Maybe, maybe before we murder him. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see what we have in the stash. Uh, everything, not just armor. Uh, sword by what is the most valuable. What? That's all the stuff I got? Bam. Skeletal. Book, slaver book. Just regular book. Blood soaked. Elots. Adventurers. I have a lot of adventurer ones. What about traps? I never use those. Overseeing ring. Uh, Valium medium armor. That's complete trash. Well, that's, I guess, nice. Hand mortar that we just got. Blunderbuss. A fine blunderbuss. Wait, did we just get that one? No, we got the kitchen stove blunderbuss four to nine. This is a is this a blunderbuss? Because this seems pretty high for a blunderbuss. Doesn't the blunderbuss attack multiple times? Now 
This blunderbuss affects uh, attacks multiple times, but that's still pathetic. Grand's wild shot. The problem with the blunderbusses is that they are completely useless. Uh, against proper enemies because not only they are less accurate, but also their base damage is ridiculously low and you have some penetration, but that's not that good It's it's a pricey item Fine rapier, it's just trash fine pistol. That's trash too fine bow exceptional battle axe Oh, that's a lot of exceptional dagger we have there. Exceptional mace, I'm, I'm more keen to say uh, sell that. Exceptional stiletto. Um, we can sell that. Exceptional medium shield heat heater. Exceptional breastplate, light armor. Yeah, it, it's it's not that big of a difference. Exceptional robe. Yeah, but that's that's a huge difference right there. Like there's a big difference between five Ah I guess this it's still not that big. Damn. What can I sell to this guy? Skull Crusher Mace. So I can buy the Gurari uh Kuiras. But if I sell all of those, and perhaps it's uh, possible to further enchant it, we don't know. I also gotta make some more money. So we have the Garari Kuiras. Someone should have it who recovery time plus fifty five. So basically one less armor in exchange for better recovery time. Conductive storm, superb. That would give it plus one. Can we enchant this further? Primeval. Uh that's terrible. Oh that's pretty good. That's terrible. Oh that just increases the orderly uh Present effect. The Altro's Cage. Hmm. Exceptional plate armor. Isn't that just the better version of the breastplate? <laughs> that, that's kind of how it looks like. Because the superb. Breath oh no 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 recovery time. Uh the plate armor has a quite significant recovery time. So this is a breastplate. But is the recovery time represented here? I don't know. Because this breastplate has 35% recovery time, and this breastplate has 35% recovery time. So in this scenario. Uh, in this example, like the recovery time is not represented because I, I just have to assume that the recovery time is plus 15 percent for this armor. Legendary. Okay, Kadok. Oh, never mind that. Not the same guy. So not the great. same guy made it. So, do we still have the conches? Uh, I don't know. Wait a second. What is that? Oh, that's stealing. Well, never mind then. Oh, what? I don't know what's the good way to go down. I, I don't think there's a really a, a good way to go down. What a way we choose. It's gonna take us, uh, well, quite the effort to go where we need to go. We could alternatively use the the lift. 
I guess. Also, I do have other missions as well. Unfortunately, the time stops when you're looking at the missions. So, in the galette. All aboard. Approach Captain Seduzo in the tavern. Oh, yeah. What? I still need to ship out the children? Oh, yeah. And about getting food for these people. Look at this. I've done so much. I wanted to, uh, just... Obviously... Why not? Make it work with the queen. But, uh... Wait a second. We could've used that. God damn it. You must gather your party before... But obviously, she doesn't care. I suppose it's not really my business... To... To care whether these people uh, taken care of. Hey, Gwenfin. Dario said there was a whole temple back here. Yeah, you don't have to worry about worry about him anymore. <laughs> He's dead. Wait a second. We need to go to the old city. Damn. I really hope there's like a alternative way to get out of this place. Because it takes a long time to get here. And so many loading screens. We loaded into uh, Deltro's hideout from where we loaded into um I don't know. It's not Deltro. Well, the bad boys hideout. Then we went to Deltro Row. Then we came down. And now we're still just... Uh, then we had to come here. And now we are kind of where we need to be. But will it work? And most importantly... What's behind door number one? I got it. Place a conch in one hand. Place a second conch in the other hand. The other shell slides into place, glowing as brilliantly as its twin. A counterpoint melody rises from it. The carving shudders and something rumbles beneath your feet. You watch as the wall panel sinks into the floor. What? I lost them? Take them back! That's just a crappy old door. Couldn't we destroy it? What are we here? Is this really it? My fingers be fat and furry, but easy breezy wet. Fine scepter, complete garbage. Exceptional large shield. Okay, it does look interesting. Grand Soul Strike. One per encounter. Use the Luminous Shard Stored Soul to strike. Wait, one per encounter? Lowering the defenses, penalty becomes more potent with metaphysics skill? What the hell? Okay, but that's just a very weird condition. Do you really want me to. What? Heavy shard improves with athletic skill. Okay. Increase incoming damage from spells improves with metaphysic skill. Incoming damage from weapons. Oh, that's not great. But having extra deflection sounds good. We might be able to enchant this to superb level. Okay, should you use this? What kind of defense would you have uh, with this shield? Um, it's a weapon, I guess. A lot. So you currently have 81. And with this you have... 94. 
four. Hmm. Oh, so you have a special ability. Soul Strike. That's pretty good. 59 accuracy. That went down a little bit from 63, right? But he's so much more tankier. Alright. Not bad. What else we got? Exceptional scale armor. It's not that exceptional. What else we have? The High Praga. Two-handed exceptional weapon. A standard attack AoE hits primary tag and, and up to two additional targets, friend or AO or foe. What? That's so dumb. One minus one hundred percent melee damage received for zero seconds on launching attack. Right. I think we gotta sell this. Okay, what else we got? Nothing. Is this it? Well, I guess. I can open up the map, can I? But I can't go there. Or can I go there? Please, let me be able to go there. Um. The hole. Oh. I got my hopes up for no reason. Okay. Lock picked. Yeah. Let's go. What? You find stairs carved into the cliff. They are disconcertingly narrow in some places and broken in others, but they appear to lead all the way to the top. Let's climb up! Inspect the path? Many of the steps are worn, fissured and crumbling. Scree slides loose in the wind. A gap awaits you, dark and plunging about halfway up the cliff. Climb up the steps. You step up. Testing your weight on the first of the many cracked and crumbling ledges it holds and you climb, navigating the narrow ledges and gaps with careful footing. Halfway up you reach a spot where the stairs have crumbled away. Luckily, a narrow ridge remains, it proves sturdy and allows you to easily cross the gap. Okay. When you reach the top, you stretch and find your group reflects the same exuberant smile spread across their faces. But we didn't really climb to the top, did we? Did we? I think we just got to the previous area. Because I do recall a uh, check like this. So we just gotta take the left, go to the pub, somehow arrange a, a trip for that woman to get out of here. This is no place for, for anybody, but especially the children, and I guess we are already there. The guy died, so... So we climbed up. This is what I expected. And we need to use the hey. lift. What is this? What the hell? Go back. That's cool, Drac. Not to alarm you, but I'm slowly dying of poison. What? Why did it stop? Not to alarm you, but I'm slowly dying of poison. Come under there. Get a man up. Not 
to alarm. Cave grubbling running away. I got this, Captain. Well, that's it. But I did clean out this area, so. Not sure how those guys got there. I guess they respawned. Yep. Dead. Alright, just get me up. What? How do we get up? Do I need to go there? Please, game. Old city lift? Are you kidding me? Where's the lift? Anyway, guys, I suppose this is a good time to take a break. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.